So one of the questions I get asked all the time is how do I edit my video? So you've recorded something in Zoom, there's maybe a section of dead air in the middle that you want to just get rid of, and how do I get rid of that section? Well, in Zoom there's no easy way of doing that. Um, within Zoom you can actually edit the front and the back, and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. This is the email that you'll get once you get your cloud recording back from Zoom, and this is uh, the host only version and this is the share with viewers. Now the nice thing here is that you can click on the share with viewers and if you're logged into Zoom, which I am, you can see that I'm logged in here uh, on my computer in Zoom, it allows me to change the set playback range. And if I go and change the set playback range here, what I can do is I can change where the video starts to say right there, I'm gonna start it right there and then I'm gonna take this over here and I can delete there and that's what I say. I hit save. Now the next time I go to play it, it's going to start there. Hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, please. And it's going to end right where I said to do. The nice thing about this, though, is that it's non-destructive. So if I click on this again, I can actually go in and change it. And this updates for everybody that will be watching this video, not just you. So if you want to just edit the front and tail of a video, this is a quick way of doing it. One of the programs that the faculty have access to is called Screencast-O-Matic, and I'm going to show you that now. If you actually want to uh, do some video editing, we have access to Screencast-O-Matic, which is a uh, screen capture program but it also has a built-in video editor so today i'm going to show you how we use that so first thing what we're going to do is we're going to open up the video editor it'll uh, give us some prompts here in the screen now if this is the first time you've actually used it it may actually ask you to uh, put in a password you can email us at the hub and we can provide you with a password the seating is limited so we don't have it for everybody in the college, but uh, we do have access to a fair number of licenses. So this is the editor interface, which is different than the recording interface. If we want to record, we just hit the record button up here, and this will actually record our screen. And I'll minimize this so it can actually make it kind of smaller so you can see it in my window here. So this is uh, our screen recording program. So anything that's within this square will be recorded, and we can adjust the, the size. So I'm going to do that right now. So this is my little video. I'm going to show you how to do a quick little edit. And uh, I'm going to make a mistake here. And uh, this is how it's done. So there's a quick little recording. It's only a few seconds long, um, 15 seconds. I'm going to hit the pause button here. And then I'm going to hit done. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on edit video, which takes us back to where I was previous to this actual recording. And now we actually have a video that we can record. This is something I recorded on the screen and I'll use this to uh, as an example of uh, some of the tools that we can do and stuff in here. So oftentimes what people want to do is they just want to edit, um, uh, cut different things. So the first tool is the most common one, which is cut. And right now we can have this little thing. So anything that's in this little area right here, that's kind of, in the front. So if I wanted to cut a couple seconds off the top here, I can just go like that and just take off a little bit off the top like that and it deletes it. And if you look right here, if I play it, edit and uh, I'm going to make a mistake here. So there's my mistake. And uh, this is how it's done. So, and, uh, so that's my end uh, right there and I say it twice. So what I'm going to do is I put my thing right there. I'm going to hit the cut button and I'm going to drag it all the way to there because this in red is the section I want to delete. I'm going to hit OK. And it's gone. So now if we play it back, show you how to do a quick little edit. And uh, this is how it's done. There we go. Now at the end here, we have all this extra stuff, which is common. At the beginning and the end, we usually have this extra things. So we want to put another cut in. So we'll just press the tool. And we'll drag it right to the very end and hit OK. So this is my little video. I'm going to show you how to do a quick little edit. And uh, this is how it's done. So here you go, that's pretty good, so we're done with that. So we'll just hit the Done button, and then we can save it as a video file, save it as uh, Recording 52, or you can rename it to Test File, and hit Publish. And it saves it to our file, and now we can take this file and we can either upload it to YouTube or what have you. There's a little file right there. We can upload it to YouTube or do whatever you have you. Now the other thing that you can do in the editing program is that you can import uh, video into it. So if you look at um, right here on the top, there's an import button. The nice thing is if you look on the import formats, one of the important formats is MP4, which is probably the most common video file that you'll find on any of these kind of softwares. It's usually recorded as an MP4 or an MOV file. So we're going to click import. So here's a little file. We're going to open this up. 
and it imports it up here. And now we can see that we have this file called Dirty Lab Rough Cut 1. And if I double click on it, I can actually play it so as well. So this entire simulation act. So this is a little video that we have here that was done in uh, one of the labs with one of our professors. And once I hit edit, I have the same functionality here. So if I want to use this cut tool, I can put cut, and I can delete little sections out, hit OK. Now there's a lot more tools in here that we can use as well to do different things, but I think the cut one is probably the most basic and the one that most people need to do. There's also some stuff you can do with volume, with the audio, um, all these things you can play with them. But I just wanted to show you, this is a quick little way to, to edit stuff within the middle of a video. Most editors will allow you to adjust the front and the end, but editing stuff out of the middle, like if there's a big section where you forgot to save, forgot to pause the recording or what have you, and there's 15 minutes of, you know, dead air, you can quickly go in, you see the audio here, this is the audio, and you can actually put that in and take out a major section of what you want to do there to there, and then just kind of like that, and go, and now that section is cut out. Some lab technicians, they do a great job at just setting yourself. Uh... So that section's gone. So when I hit, I'm done, I hit done, I go save as a video file, and what this is going to do is it's going to save it as a new file, I'll give it a new name because I don't want to save over the old one and then we can change over that and publish it. And we can change the name. Another option is for you to just take down the times and say, okay, from zero seconds to two minutes and five seconds, I, I want that gone. And then there's another section at 12 minutes, 13 seconds, all the way to you know 22 minutes, uh, 45 seconds, I want that gone. And if you send me that kind of instruction along with the file, I can do it for you. I have video editing software that can do that very quickly and get it back to you, put it up on YouTube, that sort of thing but I do need the file. So sometimes it's difficult to get the file if you only have a link. Uh, however, uh, we can work together to get a lot of that stuff done. So hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, you can reach out and speak to me. My name is Jeff Transportang. I'm here in the hub. I'm the video and multimedia specialist. Um, look forward to working with you.